Hey guys, welcome back. On my last video, I upgraded the battery tray so you can put things plug battery by using one of these adapters. That's the 3 amp, that's the 2.2, and that's the 1.2. Lithium ion, LiPo, and LiPo. So on this video, we're gonna try to see if the WL twice one four four zero zero one ESC ESC combo will be faster than this because this one is actually sixty amps and I think this one is like thirty five or something. So what you need to do is make another little adapter. So for the motor, you need another male JST plug to two males motor motor cable for two males I'm using double sided tape for now I didn't want to use a twist tie because if you use a not twist tie if you use a zip tie it won't have enough room and it's gonna be touching that metal piece middle drive shaft I'm supposed to remove this and put this on top because there's space but since this is not permanent and I just want to see if it's actually fast enough I'm just gonna leave it like this this is the servo cable inside the ESC you have to use a little tweezer or flathead just bend the pins of closer together and then try pushing it in after you put it in it's not going to work unless you turn it backwards the way I'm doing it right now so look black cable towards the corner so after you do it, or after you fix everything, the steering is actually backwards. This is also my modern controller, just with another thing's plug and then the balance cable coming out so I never have to take the battery out. So I'm turning right, it's going to be left. You see that? So that's the only thing. What you can do, if you don't want to use the stock servo, is use the stack server from your WL twice problem solved I'm gonna go out and do a speed test and on my last video on all these three batteries I got 12 14 and then 17 on low medium high settings right here low medium high but on this remote there's no low medium high except this knob so I'm just gonna turn it to the max and hopefully we get more than 17 I would be happy if we can get 20 something then most likely I'll just leave it in here I will sacrifice the gyro for top speed by the way this working ESC has a double heatsink I took it from one of the defective ones that I tried popping in a 3S and then the throttle won't work anymore but the servo will still work so the rear lights still works and if this is actually faster i'll make a mod or i'll get this working all right guys i'm outside i'm just gonna run it in the street with cars but i forgot it's opposite right is left left is right so i got a little scared but i got nine miles an hour so it's set to the max right now max i'm just gonna see how fast it goes oh wrong way let's see I get used to the turns. I think it's a little faster. I'm not used to the turns. Yeah, I think it's definitely a little faster. Let's see. Oh no, it's still 17. It was worth a test. I guess it's the motor.
Two and ten in the wrong way. Oh well, so now I know it can only go 17. So what I'm gonna do now is pop in an extra battery. There's one battery here. I'm gonna pop in another two S3 amps. See if it can still go up to 17 miles. Hold on. Alright, so nothing professional. No, no duct tape or nothing. I'm just gonna pop it in there just like that. And let's see how fast it goes. I mean, let's try to get 17. Alright, it's heavier now. Yeah, it looks slower. That's max right there. Let's see how fast. Oops, that was an accident. Let's see how fast. Oh, 27 kph. I don't know what that is, but I'll find out in a second. All right, guys, we're back. Hey, I'm really sorry to waste your time because it did not go past 17 miles an hour. But the good news is by adding a second 3 amp battery, so a total of 6 amp, we got 16.77 miles. So you only lose 1 mile and you have 6 amps instead of the stock 1.2 lithium iron. This is LiPo.